all right YouTube. Here is the first footage that I ever shot on this beast, the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K, shot in Blackmagic RAW at 6K. Let's have a look at the footage. Now, I know that isn't the most stunning footage that I've ever shot. I was having a bad day, my exposure was all over the place. We all have bad days, right? But it should give you an idea of what this camera is capable of, because when I got it into the edit, even though my exposure was off on some of the shots, I was able to save most of the footage because it's just so malleable. You can really push it and pull it. So I was really pleased with what came out in that respect. But it did make me think, I wanna go out and try again. So later that day, I went down to the beach at sunset and shot some stuff in low light. Let's have a look at that. I was much happier with the stuff that I shot at sunset. I got this camera to replace my Blackmagic Ursa Mini Pro 4.6K and in low light, this performs way, way better. The ISO that I had in that clip that you just saw was only 1250. So it performed really, really well. Some digital noise comes in, sure, but I was happy with it compared to the Ursa Mini Pro 4.6K. So that felt really good. The main downside, to this camera compared to the camera that I had previously is the lack of ND filters built in. There are ones that you can get to put on the lenses, variable NDs. I haven't found one that I'm happy with that doesn't cause IR pollution. I'm still looking for one. If any of you know one that works really well with this camera, please do let me know because uh, I am desperate to get one. If any of you have any questions about this camera, feel free to hit me up in the comments. If you liked this video, fantastic. Please do give me a like and a subscribe and I'll hope to see you in the next one. Peace.